Hey there, I'm Dave Otero. Uh, we're at my place here outside of Denver, Colorado, uh, Flatline Audio, and I'm here hanging out with the URM dudes, and we're gonna show you guys some tricks, maybe walk you through a few elements of this Archbuyer mix. Okay, so uh, what we're talking about in this particular segment is um, some like, I guess, sound effect augmentation that you could use in different capacities in all kinds of sections of your mix. I know this kind of sound design stuff is pretty popular, uh, even more so maybe in pop music. Some of the scene core stuff kind of used it a lot. You know, there's glass breaks and uh, um, uh, risers and accents and all kinds of stuff coming in to augment the song. Um, this style of music, uh, you sometimes want to be a little more subtle about it, um, and it and it maybe doesn't always have to sound quite as cinematic as it might in like the more the, the more pop genres. Uh, but you can definitely still bring some outside sounds in in certain spots to, to amp up the energy. So uh, we are talking about um, the intro to the Archspire song "Calamus Will Animate," and fans of the band will will probably immediately know what I'm talking about here. And I'm going to go ahead and play it for you, um, and then we'll kind of break it down. So pretty cool intro, um, super fast ollie vocals uh, over some layered gunshots uh, and a cool pattern that feeds right into the song. So let's kind of see how this was created. So uh, let's mute the gunshots and the vocals and I'll show you what we started off with. So a pattern pre-written, um, and then vocals were tracked to that. You know, we kind of decided on a long chunk. I'm not sure how many bars that is. It's a good amount. Um, eight, five, six, I don't know, a lot. <laughs> uh, and uh, we tracked vocals of that. But vocals by themselves are not all that amazing sounding. So let's mute that click and bring in just the vocals and listen to that. So it's definitely cool. We have some layering, trying to build some energy there, um, but it's obviously not enough. So in come the gunshots. Uh, so these were actually recorded by the band and myself uh, using this guy right here. Uh, we took a Saturday or Sunday off, went up into the mountains here in Colorado, and um, just kind of blew off some steam, shooting some bullets down range. Um, and I recorded maybe an hour or two of that, uh, brought it home, and just kind of chopped it up. So I'm going to show you a bit of what that was. Let me just solo these tracks. Um, Obviously, it's just a bunch of gunshots. You know, you can kind of hear us chatting. There's some other people out there as well. Multiple guns. Um, and essentially, I kind of whittled this down. Uh, and, you know, you, you got to, I had to, like, find some, some cleaner clips uh, without people talking, without multiple gunshots interfering with uh, decays and stuff like that. Pulled a few different rounds out. So, you know, different guns shooting a different round. And, and kind of made my own pattern. So I pulled the vocals out. And even though it's, it's, it doesn't super come through in the final mix, there actually is like a few different gunshot samples. And I layered them in following this exact kind of MIDI pattern that we'd set up. So let's listen to that solo. So pretty cool, um, kind of follows the flow. Uh, and then all together, 
Uh, it, it adds a lot of energy to the part, um, helps nail down that uh, rhythm that's pretty important, and it leads into the song with a lot more energy than it would with just vocals. So the idea is maybe, um, you know, think outside the box uh, when it comes to kind of signature sections of songs like this. Not only did we get a cool sounding spot on the album, um, it also was essentially a conversation piece, uh, you know, which is it's just good for the band in general. It gets people talking about stuff. Uh, and then on the flip side of that, you know, actually recording the samples ourselves um, was a, a pretty fun moment and a good memory for all the dudes in the band and myself and, you know, um, kind of overall uh, uh, was pretty important and just the overall vibe of the session, you know, a bonding moment, if you will. So, um, yeah, hopefully you this might spur some ideas for you guys, um, but, you know, think outside the box and get some cool sounds in there and try and do something unique with your music.